Hi guys, this is Panda's Data Diaries, again sharing real life uh, experiences with you working with data. So in this episode I'm focusing on turning dictionaries, multiple dictionaries, into a consolidated um, Pandas data frame. So um, I've already prepared some dictionaries here. This is what you might see when you're working with an API and um, you get dictionaries as API responses and you might not even have um, like single responses. You might have uh, quite a lot of them, like 100, 200 and you want to turn these into a coherent um, consolidated data frame. So how would you go about doing this? So you see, I have um, API uh, response one, two, three, and I will first of all collect these in a list. That would be the first step. So let's say, um, since it's only three, I can just do it like that and copy paste over here, else I would need to find another workaround for this. So, Copy pasting one, two, three. Okay, saving it. And then the next step, I would create a, uh, another list uh, that's called the data frames, which I will fill in a loop. So let's say four response. So uh, by response, I mean API response in this case, uh, which is one of the dictionaries above. So for response in responses, the list that we just created, and I would then say data frames dot append and fill it with um, the response, which I will already turn into a data frame over here. Uh, using this command, it's slash just pd dot data frame, and don't get it wrong, it's uh, D capital and F capital. I think this is one of the most uh, recurring errors um, when working with a pd dot data frame function to spell it lowercase. So um, like that, that looks fine. Run it, and uh, what happened now? I can show you. Let's say data frames uh, zero should return the initial uh, dictionary, the API res one over here, and have turned it into a pandas data frame. So that is fine, but the data frames itself contains a lot, like uh, all of these three um, dictionaries in a list now. So um, since they all have the exact same structure, what I can do is I can just use another command which is the pd.concat, short for concatenate, and then just um, as parameter give it the data frames list containing all the single data frames, and let's see what it does. The magic happened, it turned it into a data frame combining all of these in the single um, data frame, as you see, it has one, test two, test three, four, five, six, and um, up to nine, and that is exactly what we expect here. Test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you for today. Um, keep it short. Hope uh, this is helping you working with data problems uh, as well. So, um, looking forward to seeing you next time around. Have a nice weekend.